Sunday, we'll get Sunday, you know. Yeah. One of those things. Oh, so this is funny. This is the classic here. No, it's funny the Migos body language when you saw a K9 sit down. <laughs> Like, that's why he rolled his eyes and he's like, oh, God, this this guy again, like, more chic. I hate chic. <laughs> Especially playing S. Bruce's chic. I'm sick of it, man. I mean, I we've talked to, like, Nico and, like, several firing dices where he says, like, when S. Bruce is playing on point, like, his chic is the scariest thing to fight because yeah. he's just, like, so, I would say, um precise and quite a tactician like he starts playing extra patient and you are you feel like you still have to start approaching so what happens when uh like what he's talking about is can when he like chooses plays or i don't know what makes him play this way but he plays like at a very safe distance while also reacting to you so yeah. you don't feel like you can approach him with anything unsafe or pretty much like any type of aggressive option kind of like what's going on right now. right right like, he's trying to like assert that right now but uh, yeah, and in the moment you like try to overextend, you like he's punishing you or like, resetting neutral. It's one of the more difficult things about dealing with Sheik. Wow! Right, carrying him that fair credit right across the stage. This is Keenan. Stage to the point where Nico able to get back in. All right, so he did the angled uh, down dancing blade first. If you do that, uh, it does combo into the tipper last hit. And at the ledge, like on Smashville, can kill really early. Uh, yeah, Nico in general has just had a lot of fun just going Marth. Um, even having a lot of uh, more success with Marth versus Sheik lately, so yeah, Nico. Um, Nico was the best the the bat. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Nico was the best uh, West Coast Marth for uh, quite some time, and then yeah. you know decided to pick up Shulk, had fun with Shulk. Uh, Nico kind of a little bit of kind of in a break. I know he's not really focused on going to a lot of tournaments as he used to be. Um, but I do know the one character that he was really known for back in the day was his Marth. Yeah. So I, I do like to see his Marth come into play. Oh. Late air dodge still gets caught, but he's able to save that jump and gets a ledge jump tipper up there. That's actually really good on Sheik. Oh, jab oh fun. Wow. wow. I haven't seen that in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really good for the percent uh, Sheik was at and the rage he had. That was really nice. Double jab to tipper up there. Also very hard to like know that's going to happen in DI appropriately, so that was really good. Does get to poke the ledge. Oh, my goodness. Almost gets a double shield break attempt. Uh, that one, if he chose to block, would probably broke his shield if he yeah. did pressure. So this is good. I think this is why Nico really likes this matchup, or this character over Shulk, is because even though Shulk can kind of like take the first stack and hold on to Rage a little bit, he can't mm -hmm. really abuse it because he's too slow. Yeah. And, like his kill options are a little bit too telegraphed. But with Marth, he can hold on to this and like keep playing the same game and possibly just kill Kane like, right now. Oh, oh my, my god. Okay, Still even in. at 178, Kane starting to have a tough time killing. That's kind of one of those things about Sheik. She loses a lot of her combos um, at the hyper sense, so now she's fortified, for, forced to find uh, different options. Yeah. And kind of one of those things that I wanted to say earlier was Nico. One of Nico's first PR wins, I believe, was against K9 with his um, with his Marth. So I believe it was a pre patch day. So Nico and K9 have kind of been going back and forth with their in this matchup. Yeah, quite a it's bit. it's not interesting that Nico didn't want to keep playing Marth like, when he was buffed, but he was like all Marth when Marth was just like so much worse. And everyone would always just say, like, dude, why don't you just keep playing Marth and all these buffs? He's like, nah, Shulk's fine. I'm like, no, we even told him. It was like a point where he won, like, a tournament with uh, Cloud. And we're right. like, Nico, go Cloud. He's like, nah, Shulk's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of gone full circle. Speaking of, like, like that stock almost. Like, that stock almost went completely past 200. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my super goodness. Fair with the worst DI possible. It's a Mangy's DI. And, uh, I don't know, this was rough because she... Actually, I feel like low percent, when Marth's at low percent, she can't go for that many of her like basic setups because mm -hmm. you can either just up be out of it. And uh, it's because like I, if you guys probably wondering like, well, how can you up be out of it? It's because up B is frame one in the air, yeah, frame five in the ground. And it also has uh, invincibility on start too. Mm -hmm. So if he even throws out a move, like he'll just beat it out. But can I do a decent job bringing this back? Still very hard. Yeah, got to be careful not to ooh. get hit, though. And Nico can't find those tippers, and we all know how he's looking for them. Oh, that was so good. Almost actually gets the platform assist on that stock. Nico has to chill. Because Kano's just been finding the open. He needs to slowly bring this back. Catch mm -hmm. him just a little bit too long. Uh, try to see if he can catch that air dodge with like a jump bounce. I like how he covered oh. that, though. Nico went back to the ground, and Kano able wow. to cover those he with the needles, and Kano brought it back. I want to say that staled fourth throw made that fourth throw bouncing fish like more easy to follow up on, like more easy to be like true. Mm -hmm. Like I know Zenyu would tell me like 
man, it sucks playing against Kano sometimes because like he keeps grabbing you at high percent, and the next thing you know, <laughs> like at high percent, that fourth or bouncing fish just works. Yeah. So dang, Kano actually just brought it all the way back, dude. Nico literally just had to hit him with one single, Tip, like one tipper, tipper tilt, like up throw might might have been enough. Even a down tilt, like if you actually got down tilt with tipper, that could have been a really tough time against Sheik. We yeah. set it at such an awkward angle, but. Kena gonna get uh, all possibility if she decides to go for a little more, uh, but I would say control and kill possibility. And yeah. he goes uh, Diddy, so I'd like to switch for him. Uh, I think this is another one of Mart's uh, difficult matchups. Mm -hmm. Oh, does catch him jumping off ledge? Oh wow, he's like so these down tilts coming so in. All are looking crazy right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think this is one of Marth's difficult matchups because when uh, Marth kind of wants to space fair, Diddy's can low profile it pretty well. Yeah. And uh, if he catches true. him in the air, he just, you know, forward airs him. Also, he doesn't have that many options around banana at the ledge. Yeah, once Diddy's able to set up that ledge banana, uh, it's, it could be too, pretty tough for uh, Diddy. Sh I'm sorry, Marth. Diddy just has to look at Marth's recovery and start looking to see where they can take it from there. But so I haven't seen uh, Kanan go for that banana play at the ledge at all. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was really smart from Nico. React to the high monkey flip. A lot of Diddy's do that, like, on an autopilot type of recovery. And, uh... Yeah, that was really good awareness from Nico to catch that with the tipper up there. Alright, so this is K9's ledge guard here though. I feel like he just let it go, but he's running and bring it fully back. Finding that trying to find the grab. Yeah, it looks like a missing put dash attack, but does get to shield the downward angled uh, dancing blade that does tons of damage. That would have been mm -hmm. exactly what Nico needed to push the lead pretty far. I do believe some characters like Fox, they can get out of a downward uh, dancing blade. Uh, so you have to bring them at a little bit of a higher percentage. Something like forty, that starts to slowly change the base for that. Okay. Good stuff to Nico though. He's actually playing really well in this first stock, just playing as uh, okay. I was gonna say playing as evasive as possible, but unsafe <laughs> dancing blade on shield down to the up smash, the classic. Oh nice. Wow, yeah, he recognized that low percent Marth can throw out a lot of things, so he just threw out his move, hit him, and then immediately put the shield up to punish the landing. Nice, Nico starting to run in with shield, looking to see how Kanan's going to be tossing in those down tilts or forward air. So Nico starting to move in defensively, and that's kind of how he, I feel like he should be doing, is moving defensively and still looking to punish Kanan that way. But now Kanan is controlling the stage. Yeah, that was a really good down tilt on the jump. Uh, fortunately for Nico, he didn't go for like a down smash or any type of edge guard because he had no jump. Mm -hmm. Oh, scoops him. Air dodge punch. Oh, air. he actually gets reversal. Try to get, try to get a grab on the top five from his own, but Kanan just pivot grabs him out of it kind of any man's game here. Nico could find a t uh, pretty much a tipper here and it could be his game. Oh, but four air on the jump. He's at, does he get to the legend time? Oh, that was almost a forward smash there. Yeah, that was a really good pivot graph from Nico. Oh, goes high again. I'm pretty sure he felt uh, a little bit of a PTSD there. What happened the last time? Yeah, but that was a really good mix up on the timing from Nico. It made it very tricky when he was going to do it. But, okay, he's off stage. Luckily, Balfour keeps him alive just a little bit, but it's nice. Watson for grabbing the banana. Kanan makes his recovery up a little bit, but oh wow, that was very fortunate for Nico that he didn't get punished for that up deep. <laughs> fortunate indeed, but Nico gonna go for that quick. C couple pummels, he can't go for the up throw kill just yet. He needs to bring Diddy just a little bit of a higher percent. This is Battlefield. Yeah. We're playing very safe here. Nico knows though that Diddy has a lot of kill potential yeah. if he just does anything unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, lucky it was a tipper down, so it's easier to live that one. All right, Kenan, let's go over the upper possibility, oh, but he goes so for a quick wow. down tilt to forward air. That was actually such good uh, awareness from Kenan. Mm -hmm. He actually just chased him down with the fastball. Saw, I, I think he might have air dodged or buffered something. And then Kenan just saw the opening with the down tilt, like, immediately. Down tilt fair. Really clutch play from Kenan. Mm -hmm. um, as usual, like, there's very few times where I just see Nigo just get shut out by Kenan. They always have really close games. But Kenan finds himself up to, oh, uh... Yeah, Nico is gonna have to run the reverse 3 0 versus one of his hardest people to play. See if he can get it done. Not gonna be easy at all, though. All right, Nico starting off with a quick dancing blade, sending him upward. He does, he's able to get that percent, but now Kanan's starting to come slowly back. I like Kanan has to probably hold the shield a little bit more against dancing blade, but I know that if you take more damage with shield on dancing blade, if shield goes for the downward one, it can break the shield. Yeah, that is true. And there's the aggressive dare from K9. Both these guys actually fall with aerials uh, in situations <laughs> where other people want to air dodge and just jump away. They, they just want to like establish, like, no, I'm not scared. Yeah. Here's my hitbox. You got to do something about it. But it comes Nico. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Very good patience. He waited until K9 used pretty much all of his recovery options, and then he went for a punish. 
a lot of people swing at a bad spot against Diddy's up B especially, mm -hmm. and then they find themselves like trading with it, and, and Diddy just get back on stage. So, really smart stuff from Nico. And nice downward. Uh, you can cancel the jab with uh, like holding down, I believe, after the first one. Um, you yeah, you can hold down, or if you hold diagonally down, and then you flick the C stick, that also count. All right. So really good stuff from Nico there. At tackle on just a little bit for Sint. I believe oh uh, jab goes from being frame nine to frame six, something like that. Yeah. Oh my goodness, he's just abusing it right now. Oh wow, can I look to pull the trigger? But Nico just quickly swinging the sword there. Doesn't want to get hit by it. Nico's starting to look to finally come back against K9. Yeah, Nico's air dodge timings on like these off stage plays have been so good. Okay. A B <laughs> nice option. Nice. That was a choke play, honestly. <laughs> that really was the Nico Shulk. I feel like his Shulk, and his Shulk and his Marth kind of go hand in hand yeah. a little bit. Yeah, when you think about it, like the reason he's g did so well with uh, Shulk is that he has so much fundamental knowledge of using Marth, mm -hmm. and Shulk is like all about just spacing appropriately. And then the things he learned with uh, Shulk kind of bring it back to his Marth, like that uppy edge guard. Yeah. All right. Well, now guys, we're into game four. Let's see how if Nico can poise to be making the reverse three zero possibly, or oh, can I just deny all possibility of that? I see a little bit of a control play coming in from K9, but now he's starting to see he's going for aerials on that shield. Not yeah. a good choice. Yeah, it's actually. Uh, I, I feel like Diddy can't like force the uh, aggressive aerials against Marth if he's staying mm -hmm. grounded. Is more so you want to start fairing when you see the Marth commit to jump a lot. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Good call out. You always want to call out Marth's aerials. And not only that, like the fact that Marth does have a sword, but there is end lag after it. So you do want to look to abuse that. Like right there, there's a few frames of end lag. So if Kano was holding shield there, could have been punishing. But speaking of punishing. Right. Nice up B to deal with the, the down tilt down smash. But it does catch that one. It's in off stage. He's going to set up the edge with the banana here. Catches him jumping. And now, he, oh, wow, he just rolls past him. I thought he was going to get triggered up. <laughs> Oh, oh quick yeah. two jabs. Almost finds that forward smash. And not uh, very guaranteed there. You kind of have to like bait out an air dodge and then go for the F smash. Yeah. Oh, oh. it's a tipper. Okay, this is really good for Nico. Oh, oh my goodness. Called it out again. Kano's going to have to mix up his high recovery. Like I feel like that's the bane of every Diddy player. Like Once yeah. they just start getting their high monkey foot <laughs> called out like this. They think they're safe. They're like, oh, you can't call this out. And then Nico gets the guy. Never mind. Hold on. Yeah. So, another clean first stock from Nico. Let's see if he can run away with it again. But Good wait. Nice. Doesn't get the cross up up there, so he's hanging on still. Oh, down to the catch the jump. Back at the ledge again. He's scared to go past his banana. Gets a trip. No, Doesn't it's too far away. Yeah, way too far. I can't, I can't fully convert off that. But he, this is his oh. stage late. Oh. Now let me finish my words here. <laughs> oh, man. Nico still going. Nice. Nice play. That's Yo, actually, Nico coming back. I don't know what happened. That, uh, that was probably some really bad DI. Those fairs were guaranteed, but mm -hmm. I don't know, he might have started his side being the blast room. Yeah. I do know when you start it, you kind of go backwards a little bit, so you mm -hmm. can actually die early that way. He Yeah, so Diddy moves his hurt box backwards, but I felt that in that animation, Nico went for a forward air, so Diddy was hurt box was already like towards the blast zone. No, I mean, like, when he was already after the forward air, like, oh, he probably okay, started okay. side B, like, in the blast zone, and he was like... Oh, right. I see what you mean, yeah. yeah. But still, those fairs were, like, guaranteed anyway, so that was actually a really good edge guard from Nico, it's regardless of, like, the super suspect DI. So, <laughs> bringing it to uh, game, game five. 5 with the two-stock, actually. Uh, it's kind of the story of these two players. I mean, I used to see this quite a many, many times at Fire Dice. These two just always go to game five, and yeah. that's kind of the story between the two of them. Puppy. Oh, yeah, her dodge is actually, that was actually way better than Upbeat. Interesting. So, Diddy's jab animation has enough lag where you can land in the ground with air dodge and still grab mm -hmm. him first. Good stuff. Okay, gets the fair. Nope, no tech chase. Really good stuff from Nico to tech roll away. And can I DI in, but Nico and I are able to get a follow up, surprisingly. I thought that would be down throw, back air, up air for free. Nice. Fares him out of his jump, and now he has him at the ledge where he wants him. Oh, my goodness, that down throw spacing is so good. And nice. he does under the fair from the down tilt. Look, he got a grazing hit at that back air just now. But Nico's starting to control a lot of the pace of the game here. And Kim starting to slowly. Oh, yeah. This, is where, it gets hard. So this yeah. is where it gets hard for D to get in on Marth. But, oh, he goes for back throw. Oh, mm -hmm. I guess he wants the edge guard instead of, like, not getting the kill yeah. with up air. Okay. He has to keep him here. But, mm -hmm. D or sorry, Nico <laughs> rolls past a K9 there. I mean, whoever's going to take the first stock could be super crucial for them, and I know Kenan's looking to do it, but Nico's been doing a pretty good job of just keeping him out of the range. Nice. Where are the banana, banana here? Really good spacing, but 
Up throw, DI mix up? No, he air dodges in time. Really good stuff. Oh my goodness, this is so scary. D perfect shields, the down tilt not at the right percent, but Nico probably wants a juggle opportunity. <laughs> yeah, he it. finds it. This is a scary, scary spot for K9. He has to be careful with how he side flips because he's been seeing how he's been caught oh by my. that. I'm amazed. Yeah. I'm amazed he would punish that. That was like really good patience and really good reaction from K9. And Nico, he might just lose it for this. Gets a cross up with the flip kick on shield. Yeah. Oh, oh great nice. reaction with the LB. All right, this is Nico's edge guard. Finds yeah. that grab. Not going to get that up throw because it's not going to work anymore. Yeah, he doesn't he's have rich. enough rage. Yeah. Okay. Nico's still, he's playing it smart. Mm -hmm. He knows Fine. he doesn't have to force anything. Nico oh, my goodness. He doesn't prepare himself for that flip kick. Can's racking up the 3%. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Waits <laughs> out the roll. Super baited. Wow, he just walks him all the way to the corner. Can's playing so patient. This guy plays so well without banana. It's yeah. really interesting to watch as a deep player. We haven't even seen him like pull banana at the ledge either. Oh, oh but Nico finally go. getting the rage and enough to get that up throw kill. Yeah, really good pivot grab. Scooped up K9. Definitely didn't see that one coming. But this is this is gonna be rough. Nico has to not only uh make up the percent deficit, but oh my goodness, he aired out to the ground. I was guaranteed. Yeah, he needs to make up the percent deficit. While holding a can at the ledge long enough for him to possibly get an earlier kill with like a tipper. Mm -hmm. But that's not going to kill until like around 30, 40% at least. Can oh I man, he just does it. Yeah, can I is going to win this side of the story with a quick 3 2. Yeah. Nico was, uh, almost gets the reverse uh, 3 0 though. Yeah, close that one out with the JV though. Mm -hmm. um, that was just a very dominant first and kind of last talk from K9. Yeah. It was rough because Nico was controlling a lot of the first part of that game, but then once.